It's on you. There's a moment when every boy realizes no one's coming to save him. And that's when he becomes a man. And some boys never get there and stay children forever. Get up. Move towards that challenge, whatever that challenge is. Move towards that challenge and go attack it. And you may be successful and you may not be successful, but you will be better. No one's effing coming to save you. No one's going to make you better at your business. No one is going to get you to be a better persuader of people or framer of people other than you. Wake up. We have a moral burden to bear. And that's the adventure of our life. That's the other thing. So interesting about the Abrahamic story is that God calls Abraham out of his luxurious slumber and sends him into a catastrophe. Tyranny, starvation, war, brutal. But he has the adventure of his life. You might say, well, the, it's the adventure of your life that justifies the catastrophe of your life. It's not some simple-minded, juvenile hedonism or desire for comfort. That's all what we're built for. We're built for the adventure of our lives. The best way to fight the demons that chase you in the night is to stop and turn around. Turn around, face them, man up. You find that in orienting yourself to the highest possible good in all ways and speaking the truth forthrightly along that pathway. There's a thing about manning up. Don't you feel better when you accomplish something and you, you work through something and you man up? No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. You're just not. Because when I wake up, I know the journey that it takes for me to find my greatness. And it's hard. Every, nothing is easy. Nothing just like, oh, I wake up and I just do this or I do that. Or it just, you know, I watch people every day go through life and it's so easy. For me to be where I'm at today, it takes every bit of me. Your lack of commitment is almost an insult to the people who believe in you. And that's what I'm trying to tell myself. I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror, no, I'm Alexander, he's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's the never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me, I'm from their cloth. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart, I wanna eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Nothing is easy. Like, running is running, it sucks, but you have a choice to make. Do you want to sit down and go back to that guy you once were? No. So this is what it takes. This is what it, it takes that misunderstanding of people and they'll never get it because they were never David Goggins. Whatever it takes to get you to try harder, read more, set your goals and go for it. Here's the next attitude disease, over caution. Some people never will have much. They're too cautious. Now you can also be too reckless, but you can also be too cautious. This is called the timid approach to life. And my caution was always the risk. Risk used to drive me right up the wall. I used to say, what if this happens? It's called the language of the poor. Go try and accomplish something that's hard. You may win, you may lose, you may succeed, you may fail. I'll tell you what, you'll be better. If you avoid those things that are hard, if you don't accept that challenge, if you don't step up and step into that cold water, and you sit on your couch and eat Doritos, I, I, I can tell you this is not a good move. This is not a good move. It's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. 
Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not going to get out alive. And the other thing that's so interesting about being alive is that you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is going to kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting. Because do you have anything better to do? Really? Why not pick the best thing possible that you could do? Why not do that? Maybe you could justify your wretched existence to yourself that way. I think you could. And so if you tell young men, look, you're going to find the meaning in your life by adopting, by adopting maximal responsibility, right? That's going to be extremely difficult because you're so bloody useless. You can't even get your own house in order. But I can be more effective now by making up my mind I'm going to be. And that's what I recommend you do. Don't waste your time. Do you know that everybody alive gets exactly the same amount of time we get all there is? It's what we do with it that makes a difference. If you do that, nobly, there'll be something to you. And then when the storms come, you won't be blown over by the first four foot wave. And young men think, huh, I mean I could be something that wasn't blown over by the first four foot wave? I think, oh, well that's, that's, that's inspiring. Don't waste your life. Set your goals high. Quit thinking about what's wrong. Start thinking what's right. Love a little more, hate a little less. You have no idea what you're capable of doing. Make up your mind today, you're gonna to figure it out.